Today I'm going to be breaking 24 fitness laws in 24 hours, like this one right here. What should not be allowed in a gym setting? Uh, uh, uh. There's no reason to be over here. Okay. Uh, uh. So, what exactly is a fitness law? It's a code of conduct for bros and gym goers to protect their gains and lay out general etiquette within the iron paradise. What do two straight dudes do when they're in Miami? They go for brunch. I feel kind of out of place right now. Like, if you saw the decor right now, my, my gyno's getting worse because the estrogen is in the air. Like, I feel like I'm gonna start sneezing butterflies. What do we all prioritize every single meal? We prioritize protein. So obviously, I'm gonna get zero protein. And the good thing is, this place actually specializes in rose petal pancakes. What's next for me, Kofi? Lavender scented lifting gloves? That is some beautiful china. So rose petal pancakes, and I thought it was just me on top, but it's actually infused into the pancakes. And for $18, hopefully the powdered sugar is my favorite South American variant. We're gonna pour our rose petaled maple syrup right on top. It tastes like a lady. Soft, sweet, warm, and you get that floral neat, floralness. It makes me miss actual pancakes because I only ever usually have protein pancakes that are really, really dry. I want you guys all to comment down below if you have a food law when you go to a restaurant, what is it? I feel like for me, and the right answer should be, there is no law. Everything in moderation, unless you're allergic. We continued to enjoy our fabulous brunch and take some really, really cute photos in the process. And while this meal didn't fuel any gains, it sure will fuel a great pump. For the pre-workout, we are having absolutely zero caffeine. We are having some endo pump, which is a pump product. Going to the gym these days is not even about being hydrated. It's about being you know, wired, having jitters, and just having some marginal anxiety. Up top, I look pretty normal. The Gymshark sugar got going on here. It looks all good, and if I step to the side, I get called daddy all the time, but now I actually look the part. Jeans are a great thing. You know, they are, they really are, but they are never allowed in the gym. We can see that you don't train legs through the denim. What do you think, Kofi? I mean, like, it does definitely fits the daddy will thing going it, on. It does, doesn't it? Let's do a squat test really quick, okay? Oh, yeah. It's actually pretty good. Walmart, 25 bucks. If you lift, why not, right? Everybody that I'm walking by is looking at me like, I need to take this kid out shopping. But if you ever see stringers and jeans, you saw it here first. So we just ran into a subscriber on the street. What do you think of my gym attire? I mean, it's, it's great for, um, are you dad? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like wearing gloves to the gym kind of compromises the experience. I want to feel that thick, firm bar in my bare hands. If you wear gloves to the gym, what's next? You're gonna start sipping beers with straws? Literally every single guy's looking at me right now in the gym like, yeah, this guy could be friends with my girlfriend, you know? Save the lotion for a deeper experience. What do you guys think about lifting gloves and jeans in the gym? I've never personally worn jeans, but gloves make a lot of sense because like the fucking calluses. I mean, I guess well, it all that character, man. Yeah, that is true. You don't want to be holding a girl's hand and you have smoother hands than that's, her. That's true, that's yeah. true. And you get more grip on the bar with those too. Skipping leg day is like skipping going to the dentist. When you're young, you feel like you're kind of getting away with something, but then as time goes on, your, your teeth start to fall out. I really highly recommend to not skip legs, especially when you're first starting. That is when most guys start skipping legs, and then when they're more advanced. That's the muscle they care about most. I made that mistake. Please do not make that mistake too. Today was supposed to be a leg day, but I'm wearing jeans and that's practically showing everybody in the gym that my commitment to skipping legs extends to not even wanting to bend my knees. And it's practically an invite to start training some arms. So I'm here in the squat rack right now. And instead of squatting, we're gonna do some curls. To many people, the squat rack is their office, but to some people, it's an unsupervised playground. The only time you should ever be able to curl in the squat rack is if you own the gym or you're the gym version of Kanye. What's your opinions on curling in the squat rack? To me, if you're not super setting, there's no reason you to be curling over here. Okay. I wanted to do incline bench press, and I couldn't find a bar. And then there's one right here, and somebody broke the law before I broke it, and that is to always re-rack your weights. Nobody likes a chef that doesn't clean up after themselves. So always put your weights back, guys. Come on. I know a lot of people will say, that they leave the weight on the bar on purpose to give the other person in front of them more gains so they take it off, it's still not cool. The next one is loud grunting. If I'm gonna sound like Maria Sharapova, I'm making sure I'm getting paid for it.
A little bit of noise here and there is not that bad, but not every single rep has to sound like the earth shattering finale. I'm not saying be quiet, just keep it down a little bit. I guess it's my turn to lead the weights and we're moving on to the next exercise. For exercise number three, we are gonna do the seated leg curl, superset with the lying leg curl, superset with the leg extension, superset with the other leg extension. I'm using that. This? Oh, we're good. Guys, do not take up half of the gym. Don't confuse cables, dumbbells, and machines with Pokemon. They're not going anywhere. You don't need to catch them all. Remember what we're taught in preschool? Sharing is caring. I'm using that. Come on, get, get. People who take up half of the gym are also the same type of people that take forever to complete their workout. Don't hog it. This is not your office. These are the same type of people that actually make it through an entire video on the hub. What's the Wi-Fi here? Yeah, that was a good video, bro. Yeah, perfect, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll see you for lunch on Tuesday. Okay, that sounds good. You betcha. Yeah. All right, ciao. Yeah, konnichiwa. Okay. Love you, bro. Yeah, you too. I love you. You too. Hang up. No, you hang up first. Okay. No, no, no. no you no, hang no, up no, first. No, no, don't want to do it. No, you hang I'm up first. I'm not doing it! Okay, I will, okay? All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. I really wish they would turn the music down here. I'm trying to edit. This is the time to train your muscles, not train your mind. Never take your shirt off at the gym. Don't confuse the gym with your bedroom. Nobody wants to see your glistening chest, your rock hard abs, your sweaty... Wait, what was I saying again? <laughs>I should have showered. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in your worst fitness laws and by far the most popular one was body odor. I mean, if you can't find a deodorant stick, how is a woman gonna expect you to find something that's actually really important to them, if you know what I'm saying? So make sure you come to the gym, you smell good, bring some deodorant, because you could you can mess some people up. If they're in the middle of the bench, they get a whiff, boom. The shirt's off, the gains are on display, so it's time to show everybody at the gym that you don't just look like you can lift, but that you can lift a whole lot. My muscle connection was crazy there. If you're looking for long enough that you need to put sunglasses on inside, it's probably time for you to go outside. I'm not saying that a love connection cannot happen. It literally happened for me. I met the love of my life, Katie, by doing the exact same thing. It can happen, but it's very, very, very unlikely. The last thing a girl wants besides you giving them lifting advice is for you to stare at them. How would you feel if your high school principal was staring at you for 90 minutes straight? Pretty uncomfortable, don't you think? So if you stare at a girl, I mean, the only thing that's penetrating her is your eyes. You know, in fitness, we all feel like shit about ourselves. And you're like, over the side, I look bad. So, you know, it's a great place to come for a self-esteem boost and actually film other people making a fool of themselves. And I think that stuff is terrible. I would never actually do it. I'm just gonna talk about it in this video. You don't ever know where somebody is in their fitness journey. They could be a beginner. So don't make fun of them. They might not know. They're just trying to learn. You know, how would you feel if one of your first was being recorded, you know? It can be kind of awkward. Not all that fun. So let people do their thing, let them learn. Don't make fun of them because, you know, you can be just looking just that stupid. We are now gonna go out into the gym and start asking other people what should not be allowed in a gym setting. Screaming. Like loud grunting? Screaming loud, yeah. Okay, do you ever think there's like a, a certain like level? Like a little bit's okay. A little bit's okay, but not with every single workout. Like, I have guys who are going, ah, yeah. Ah, like, yeah. What should not be allowed in the gym? I guess uh, showing too much skin, like being shirtless. Being shirtless, okay. Yeah. Be cloaked, guys. Don't take your stuff off. We're trying to find girls to ask, but it's literally International House of Sausage in here. It's all dudes. What should not be allowed in the gym? Man, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I carry my bag around. I don't really like carrying my bag around. I don't know, man, what weights being not on the rack. Okay, so not re-racking your weights. Yeah, not re-racking weights. Okay, not for sure. Okay. Weights, yeah, thank you. It looks like we've covered like pretty much all of them so far. What should not be allowed in the gym setting? I would say people that don't wear shoes in the gym, 
because it, shoes. yeah, if you're not wearing shoes, you can really damage your feet. Okay. Like if a weight drops on your foot or like, I don't wear shoes. The, yeah, puts you in a bad predicament. So if a weight drops on your foot and you yeah. break a foot, like I've unracked this many times and it's yeah. fallen on my foot. And if I wasn't wearing shoes, like my foot would be really damaged. Okay. So just safety. What should not be allowed in the gym? Probably slamming the weights. Slamming the weights. Uh, <laughs> If you interrupt them during your workout, yeah, that should be allowed, okay. in my opinion. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. On this plate, I am breaking three laws. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to spot them. One, always opt for grilled over fried. Two, always ask for your sauce on the side. And three, always sub your fries for a salad. I just opened my mouth water than it should. We all need to have fried chicken from time to time, you know what I mean? This meat is just like, shut up and put me back in. Oh my God. This is ranch dressing and guacamole and fried chicken and cheese. Regardless of calories and stuff like that, I always do still recommend to put the sauce on the side because they usually put a little too much at a restaurant. Most people will get a side salad so that their choice of a fried chicken sandwich is just a fried. And I can understand it, but I always say fries before guys. So we have some Cajun crispy fries. These three laws that we covered at lunch hit very close to home because I used to follow them all, all the time. And me being a foodie, it really did suck. I'd go out for dinner with the family, I would scan the menu, there'd be so many things that I'd want, and then I'd always resort to a damn grilled chicken salad. There's literally nothing worse than a waiter asking you, what do you want? And you're like, I'll have the salad with chicken. The last stop of the day is a place where I never thought I'd end up. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I love a happy ending. It's 21 plus, I'm old enough, so we'll see. We are at a 21 plus ice cream shop having alcohol infused ice cream. So it comes in two sizes. The small one is equivalent to one beer, and then the pint is equivalent to four beers. One of the laws is you can never have sugar. In fitness, the only sweetness that you deserve is when you hit a PR, and then no alcohol. Think about a dry January that you actually stick to. That's the fitness way of life. I think I'm gonna get the Jack and chocolate. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's pretty on brand. It's bourbon though. I, I tend to want to fight people when I have bourbon. I mean like, I yeah. want smoke. Yeah. Make sure you take that off. I don't want you to eat the paper by accident. Thank you very much. Of course. But enjoy. Has anyone ever got drunk off ice cream here? You have. How many does it take you? How many of these? Three pints. Three pints? It's like having 12. Uh, but this is gonna be having four of the small ones. Oh wow. 353 calories, 13 fat, 35 carbs, and only six protein. You guys are gonna get protein in this. You, have, you, should, make, you, you should make whey ice cream. Oh wow. You can definitely tell it's there. The chocolate's definitely taking top tier, and then the alcohol is like second. This one's blended really well. Yeah. There are other ones that are blended just as well, like the Highland Truffle. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the Belgian chocolate, so the same chocolate, but it has chocolate chips mixed in with it, and the Macallan's blended into it a similar way. Okay. Where it's a part of the chocolate. It's not overpowering, it's yeah. not being overpowered by the chocolate, it's a part of the flavor. Damn. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. And now the last and 24th law that we're gonna break, and while it's not necessarily a law, it's what's gonna haunt you the most if you violate it, and that is having carbs after dark. Look, look outside. It's pretty dark outside. We have broken 24 fitness laws in 24 hours. You are born to be real, not to be perfect. Some of the laws today you should never break, but some of them are meant to be broken and you should break them. Do not live life by the book, just do you. And you know, I went catabolic today for your entertainment. Hopefully I wake up tomorrow feeling Feeling okay. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.